This new YouTube thing is retarded. This is what the new YouTube uploader thing looks like now. And what I've noticed is that I can only upload one video at a time now. Are you fucking serious? And something that's even more weird, now it forces you to say if this video is made for kids or not. Obviously my videos are not made for kids because in most of my videos I'm usually cussing excessively. Yeah, YouTube is changing uh, probably for worse. They keep screwing everything up and a lot of people are pissed. Like another thing that they're apparently making drastic measures on is their stupid terms of service. Apparently after December 10th, which is in like a week and a half, two weeks. You can't use ad blockers on YouTube anymore. Like, really, bitch? Like, I get Google is basically an advertising company. That's how they make most of their money, is through stupid ads. But seriously, the ads on YouTube are out of control. And now they're even taking it a step further, and they're basically going crazy and not allowing ad blockers anymore. So basically, if you are on your account on YouTube and you continue to use an ad blocker, there's a chance that your channel could get banned. That is, honestly, that is really stupid. I don't know if they're gonna follow through with that or not, or I don't know, we'll have to see after December 10th. So basically, if you're on YouTube and you have an ad blocker, which most people on YouTube have ad blocker because the ads are obnoxious as hell, it's not enjoyable watching, you know, a, a 10 minute video and you have to sit through like five or six different ads on top of having a bunch of ads on the page. It's ridiculous. So like, go figure. I mean, obviously we're gonna use ad blockers. We can stop being interrupted every five seconds and we can actually focus on, you know, what we're trying to watch or what we're trying to do. And not to mention that it makes the web page load a lot quicker and it uses a lot less data Ad blockers also help with privacy and malware problems because a lot of ads sometimes can have malware in them. So that's another thing I'm curious about. Like if they're gonna force ads on us or otherwise they'll basically ban us, then I am kind of curious to see how they're gonna handle this because YouTube is so cluttered with ads all the time that, you know, are they going to have to be very strict with reviewing every single ad that is placed onto YouTube? just in case, you know, so there won't be any ads that might have malware on them. And then there's another problem with privacy, you know, with all these ads, all these trackers, ad blockers block all that crap. So all these ads and <clears throat> and all, all this social media crap can't track your activity and give you personalized ads based on your browsing habits. They basically sell all of your information and how you use the internet on and what you view on the internet, they sell it to marketing companies and advertising companies and all that crap. They make money off it, off of your privacy. That's another thing that ad blockers help a lot with. So it, basically ad blockers don't just, you know, they're, they're not exactly intended to break websites and, you know, make people make less money because like there's obviously no ads. So the website runners and content makers can't make money. It's not just that, it, we use ad blockers for privacy and security reasons to avoid getting malware and viruses and crap. Not to mention it saves a lot of data. Like a lot of these ads use a lot of data. If you're on a on your phone and you're on a limited data connection and you're on a website that has like 20 ads on it, not only will it take 10 times longer to load, but you're gonna waste all your data just trying to load all those ads. So like I said, I feel like this is pretty ridiculous. This is a pretty drastic measure that they're supposedly taking. So all we can really do right now, if you really care about your YouTube account, is to whitelist YouTube if you do use an ad blocker. <clears throat> or maybe just get rid of it entirely. But personally, I would just, you know, take YouTube off of the ad blocker list. There's no way I can get rid of my ad blocker entirely because ads are so annoying. But, I don't know, we'll have to see how this plays out. The only other real workaround to this, if you would want to continue to use an ad blocker and you care about your YouTube account, would be to probably just use a whole different device that doesn't have your, any of your YouTube stuff on it and just 
go onto YouTube completely anonymously. <clears throat> you know, that's really the only real workaround unless they get to the point of completely blocking the whole page and saying, ooh, to continue on YouTube, disable your ad blocker or some crap like that. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, we'll have to see how this plays out. I don't expect this to end well because there's already thousands of people that are going crazy over this. A lot of people are already, you know, leaving YouTube for other platforms and all that blah, blah, blah. I mean, they're always going to do that. We'll see. I'll make another video on this after December 10th. <clears throat>